had several questions from the audience that are regarding billboards on wetlands, which has become quite an issue. And for some, it's an environmental issue, and for some, it's a property rights issue because people have, you know, owned this land and they could use it as they wish. So a lot of people are wondering what your position is regarding billboards on the wetlands, if you would pledge not to allow others to use your image on billboards in the wetlands, and if you are committed to not um, having them, you know, trying to prevent them from being in these fragile parks. So I think this time we start with Mr. Kamada. So yeah, I have a billboard that is in a wetland. Several. Yes. One, uh, I don't choose, I, I don't own the billboard. Two, I have nothing to do with the billboards. The billboards were uh, paid for by an independent expenditure committee that I do not control. So they do stuff. I cannot tell them how to do things. They decide how to spend money on advertising for me. That is how it goes. Um, do I think that there should be billboards in the bay? No, I don't. I don't believe that. Do I think that there is any real serious environmental damage happening from those? No, I think it's an aesthetic issue. And I come from that from knowing uh, someone that has a degree in environmental science, someone that was named prosecutor of the year for protecting our watersheds. I understand these issues, but this is the kind of thing that happens in politics. They want to try to find any single way to challenge your character. That's, that's it. And the fact that I have a billboard with my image on it in the bay does not bother me. I think that uh, you know, those are property rights for those owners of that. My personal position is that at some point uh, the Coastal Commission should remove them because they are a blight. Not Thank exactly you, when my son's up there, because that's beautiful. But. <laughs> and Mr. Costa. No, this was initially a campaign, but uh, I think that billboards are ugly. I'm from Los Angeles. They get out of control. The more you have, the uglier it is. I don't have any billboards in the wetlands. I don't have any billboards at all. Uh, I think most of the billboards in this county are owned by Viacom. It might do good to speak to them if we have a problem with it, have a political solution. Um, other than that, if it's compliant with the Coastal Commission's regulations, I don't leave a complaint about Mr. Kamada's billboard. Um, not that I would do it myself because I don't find it aesthetically pleasing, but I don't see a legal problem with that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I can make the pledge to not put my face on a billboard. Happy to do that. Yes, they're not aesthetically pleasing, pleasant, and yes, they're in wetlands. There are a lot of controls to protect our wetlands, building structures, there's a lot of controls there. But really what I want to address here is the absence of transparency. What you were just told is that a professional portrait of Mr. Kamada and his family that's up on billboards throughout this county that he, in quotes, says he has nothing to do with. I'm sorry, was he not present at the time that that photograph was taken? That's a little hard to believe. Folks, we don't know who's paying for those billboards. Those billboards, <laughs> those billboards, excuse me, there's an absence of transparency. So someone that talks about transparency, who talks about the district attorney's office should put every case up on social media, even for people that are found to be innocent. He's now telling you that he knows nothing about who's paying for these billboards, how much money's going to it, who's behind his campaign. A complete and utter lack of transparency. Someone you cannot trust. I'm sorry. I have no response. I have no response to that attack. That's absolutely ridiculous. How about the 460? That's absolutely ridiculous. The 460 says, is there an independent expenditure thing? I wrote the name of the committee. You can get those forms. The fact that Ms. Eads does not understand how disclosures work or how campaign finance works, that's not my fault. I just sat up here and told you folks, told Ms. Eads, 
that my billboards came from an independent expenditure committee. That committee is made up of my friends from high school. So if you want to talk to my friends from high school that are putting up those billboards, go ahead. If that's really the issue, if that's what we're talking about, yes, we need transparency. We need transparency in that office, absolutely. Transparency, I'm telling you right now where the billboards come from. You can look at the disclosure forms and find where the billboards come from. This is a false attack, and it's absolutely ridiculous. So, bro.